my name's Dan Arnott. Um, I'm 24 years old. Uh, I've lived here at Fletcher Way now for almost a year. I was at residential school for seven years in another supported living unit in Hitchin. And I was there for four years and then I moved to Hemel Hempstead, Fletcher Way. My actual disability is cerebral palsy. I have quite a mild form of cerebral palsy, but but it affects me in as much as I've got vision of 5%. My family come and visit. Um, I go back a, a weekend, not every weekend, but some, but some weekends. So I still see my family, shut my front door and think, yes, this is my home, this is where I live. What I find with this flat is everything's sort of interconnected, if you like. So these doors slide so I could go from my living room to my bedroom, to the wet room, to the hallway, back to the living room. So it doesn't really matter where I am in the flat, I can just go to wherever I need to get to, so that makes life easier. This flooring I've got here is probably a bit easier to work with than, than carpet, because I, I had carpet everywhere in my last flat. I've got open plan kitchen in the living room. So in my kitchen, I've got an uh, induction hob, I believe that's what they're called. You put your food on it and it warms up, but the, but the minute you take your, the pan off or whatever it is you've got on, it, it goes cold straight away. That is a safety feature. Well, I used to live with didn't have anything like that. The bathroom is, I suppose you would call it a wet room because it is, it's a, a walk-in shower with a sink. What you see in my bedroom, apart from my bed and the wardrobes, is is mine. And I'm hoping to put some more things up there in mine soon. I have a car, which I didn't have at, when I was in Hitchin, so that makes life a lot easier. Um, even though I can't drive, it's my car, but the, but the staff here at Fletcher Way can drive it. I've got a club I go to in in Wellington Garden City and that is a club for vision impaired people and it is literally um, a group of friends and, and we and we get together. I love history, love anything to do with the military. In fact, um, one of the clubs that I go to once a month is actually called All Things Military. I've started uh, doing some voluntary work for Radio Decorum. That is something I can do because, like I said, sitting in a studio, talking into a microphone and pushing buttons and selecting songs and things like that. My link worker found the ready to call them for me. The way the support works, it flips away. It sort of fitted in around what I want to do. Whereas before, I had to fit what I wanted to do around their support hours. I actually get about 11 hours of support a day. That doesn't necessarily mean I've got staff with me all the time, but I know that if I need staff, I just pull the cord and staff will come. Yeah, I, yeah, I do get on with the staff really well. And I feel that if there are any issues, I can either talk to the staff or talk to the managers. I feel a lot more settled now. Living here, yeah, yeah, I feel more independent. I feel like I can do what I want, when I want. And I suppose really, this, this is, this is home.